Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Natasha Chuchagun. I'm from Surana UTI School. Today, I would like to present my internship on the title "I Belong to Mean Enhance the Anti-Cancer Effects of Cystitin in Cancerous Carcinoma Cells." Here are an outline of my talk today that includes significance of cancerous carcinoma, chemotherapy agents for cancerous carcinoma, objective materials and thoughts, results and conclusion. Let's start with significance of cancerous carcinoma. Cancerous carcinoma or CCA we can call by that cancer. CCA is molecular to by the epithelial cells which exit inside and outside of the liver. And CCA is difficult to diagnose at early stage and less voluntary to create radio and chemotherapy. Here are some representative pictures of CCA. CCA is identified as a major health problem, especially in the northeast of Thailand because people on this area were infected with liver flux is called apoptosis liverimi or OV and this OV infection is proposed as a major risk factor for CCA development. Here is the proposed mechanism of OV associated CCA development. First, OV or liver flux usually live in saponoid fish and then when people have eaten saponoid fish that in fact these liver foods can grow and survive in human bodies especially in biop once these liver foods can go to the adult form and it's called to biop injury and inflammation so if our body cannot fix it Finally, it leads to be CCA. As I introduced early that CCA is detected at late stage and less one only to correct radio and chemotherapy. So the most effective treatment is surgical selection. But there are two thirds of CCA patients that have unacceptable disease. So, to improve the quality of life and control the disease, the new chemotherapy agents and novel target therapy is very necessary. Here are the list of chemotherapy agents for CCA, including cisplatin. In this study, I focus on anti-cancer effects of cisplatin. Cisplatin or cis is a well-known chemotherapy drug. It has been used for numerous human cancers, including CCA, but is toxic to cancer cells as well as healthy cells. So, to enhance the anti-cancer effects of cysteine, I aim to test the anti-cancer effects of cysteine combined with bioglobulin. Bioglobulin or PL is a bioactive agent derived from the first all groups of purple plant and PL has been shown to kill numerous cancer cell types without affecting normal cells and recently it has been documented that short PL can kill CCA2. From all of information motivate me to investigate the anti-cancer effects of cysteine and bioglobulin combination in CCA cell lines. For this study, I use several of instruments and equipment, including cell culture flat, 96 well plate, micro pipet, microscope, and anything else. And in this study, I use one human CCA cell line as a model. And here are the list of chemicals and reagents. There are three steps of methods. The first is cell culture experiment. Second is drug treatment for 24 hours. And first is cell viability test by SRB assays. Let's start with cell culture experiments. 
for get the sale for drug treatment. This is a liver culture in culture fast for three days. After that, remove all medium and wash by PBS and then use trypsin BDTA for detach the cell. After that, shaking and add complete media, transfer and discuss per night and then resuspend by complete media. And after that, put it into 96 well plate. In this study, I used 2,500 cell burial for drug treatment. Here are the steps of drug preparation. In this study, I start to investigate the cytotoxicity of cysteine or bibolobulin alone. Various concentration of cysteine and bibolobulin at 3 to 100 microvolum. As shown in this slide. Next. To determine the anti cancer effects of cysteine and bibolobulin combination in CCA cell lines. I choose PL at 3 or 5 microvolar with various concentration of cysteine. As shown in this slide, after 24 hours to determine the viability of CCA, I use SRB as six. First, remove the growth medium using TCA and then store at 4 Celsius for 2 hours and then rinse TCA and wash by water. Stain by SRB solution and wash by acetic acid. And then air dry and add twist bed. Then check it and remove it into 96 well per liter for moisture. Next, go to the result of this study. The first experiment, I test the anti-cancer effects of cysteine or bibolobulin alone. I found that anti-cancer effects of cysteine or bibolobulin alone are comparable. However, when I shake the half inhibitory concentration or IC50, which is drug, you can see that IC50 of Cysteine is less than bibolobulin. This result shows that CCA is sensitive to cysteine more than bibolobulin. Next, I investigate the anti-cancer effects of combination drugs in CCA cell lines. As I interviewed early, that I choose PL at three or five microvolar with various concentration of cysteine. I found that core is controlled with PL at 3 or 5 microvolar of cysteine can enhance the anti cancer effects of cysteine in CCA cell lines. And the result was confirmed by IC50. In conclusion, CCA cell lines was sensitive to cysteine larger than bibolobulin and co-expressual with low concentration of bibolobulin at 3 or 5 microvolar could enhance anti-cancer effects of cysteine in CCA cell lines. And this study illustrates the chemotherapy strategy for treating CCA. And the last is, this study suggests a combination drug between cysteine and bibolobulin could be a promising choice for CCA treatment. I would like to say thank you to Swarada Yutia School, Assistant Professor Dr. Chutimata in DPST and IPST. Thank you.